Hi, I'm Zach with Josh's Frogs, and today we'll be talking about different products we carry to help you heat your terrarium. We carry several different items. For the first section of this video today, we're going to be covering products that heat from underneath the tank. For the first line of products, we'll talk about the heat cable we sell. It comes in different watts, 15 watt, 25 watt, and 50 watt heat cable. This heat cable is waterproof. It's designed to actually be buried in the substrate of your tank and heat from below. It's best hooked up through a thermostat. We also carry a wide variety of heating pads, from the Fluker's heating pads, the Exoterra Heatwave Desert model, the Exoterra Heatwave Rainforest model, and the T-Rex Cobra heat mats. Each encompasses a different price range. They're all meant to be affixed either to the side or below the tank and produce radiant heat from that area. Now that we've discussed some of the products meant to heat the terrarium from below, we're going to discuss some of the radiant heat sources, or basking bulbs. Here at Josh's Frogs, we carry a wide variety of basking bulbs to meet both you and your animal's needs. I'll start the discussion with the general purpose basking bulbs, move on to the hal discussing the halogen bulbs, night lighting, and finally ceramic heat emitters. We'll start off our discussion with the Exoterra Sun Glow um, Daylight Bulbs. They broadcast their heat over a wide area. We carry them in several different wattages from 15, 25, 40, 60, 100, and 150 watt. Progressively getting hotter, we carry the Sun Glow Daylight Spot Bulbs. They'll focus the heat in a more concentrated area than a showcase or daylight bulb, but it will still be over a fairly wide area. Those come in the 50, 75, 100, and 150 watt models. Next in line are the Sun Glow Tight Beam Models. These produce a lot of heat for their wattage over a very small area. They're great for um, hot desert animals such as bearded dragons, dwarf monitors, and the like that require a high heat, but you still want them to be able to cool down at the opposite end of the cage. They come in the 50, 75, 100, and 150 watt models. Josh's Frogs also carries halogen bulbs. Halogens are great. For, you're going to get the most bang for your buck as far as heat production for wattage. Um, they come in 50, 75, and 100 watt model that is fit for a standard incandescent socket. And then we also carry a 35 watt model, which is meant for an actual halogen two-pronged fixture. For their wattage, they're going to pr be producing a lot more heat than your standard incandescent bulbs. Josh's Frogs also carries lighting for your nocturnal animals, both the moonlight, which will be a faint bluish, blackish, or purplish light, and the infrared, which will be a red light, much like you see those fry warmers at fast food restaurants. Both of these um, light fixtures are designed to be run at night or during the day, or both, because they don't seem to really uh, interrupt the nocturnal habits of your animals. For animals such as leopard geckos and such that are really active at night, these are a great way of providing a heat and also allowing you to observe the animal at the same time. The moonlight bulbs come in a 15, 25, 40, 50, and 75 watt model, while well, the infrared bulbs come in a 50, 75, 100, and 150 watt model. And finally, Josh's Frog is also proud to carry ceramic heat emitters. These do not produce any light, but produce solely heat, and thus are excellent for daytime, nighttime, or continuous use, and they will last a very long time. I have several myself I run for 12 to 14 hours a day that are well over 5 years old. Also, per wattage, they're going to produce much more heat than any of the standard incandescent sockets. They're a little bit more expensive initially, but you'll generally save money over time, both for, because of the longevity of the bulb and you're not having to buy replacements, and also the efficiency in which it uses electricity. Now that we've discussed the different basking bulbs needed to heat your terrarium, we can discuss the different classes of fixtures that those basking bulbs will require. There's two ba basic classes. You have your standard dome clamp lamp, and you also have your wire light or wire clamp lamp. The Exoterra Glow Light dome lamps come in three different sizes. The small, which handles up to 100 watts, the medium, which handles up to 200 watts, and the large, which is rated up to 250 watts. The inside of the dome is coated with a kind of phosphorus paint, so it will actually glow a slight green for several hours after the lights go off at night. With the dome clamp lamps, the arm can easily be clamped onto the side of a cage or above shelf and aimed down or the arm can simply be removed and the fixture can be set directly on top of the screen cage aiming downward at your animal. The porcelain wire clamp lamps consist of a wire cage that surrounds the bulb. They also have a clamp lamp so they can be mounted on objects or they can be set directly on top of the screen of the enclosure. The clamp lamp serves an important function. It provides um, increased airflow around the bulb or heating element, thus resulting in less heat buildup around the bulb directly and a longer life of the bulb. 
Um, these will make pretty much any bulb last longer, but we are very recommended in the case of ceramic heat emitters or mercury vapor lighting. When discussing heat sources, it's important to keep in mind that reptiles and amphibians are both ectotherms, that they're incapable of, for the most part, incapable of producing their own body heat and are reliant on their environment or surroundings for their thermal needs. Because of this, it's important to ensure that the proper temperature ranges are met in their enclosures so that it can go through the normal processes such as digestion, heat absorption, basking, etc. Um, Josh's Frogs carries two different classes of products to ensure that the animal is getting the proper temperature. The first class would be the digital temperature gauges. Two of these, the, sun, the two model of sun leaves, measure both the, the temperature according to a probe and then the humidity of the base unit, whereas the Exoterra Thermo Hygro Combo Meter has a probe that measures both the temperature and the humidity of the enclosure. These are great for getting an idea of the ambient temperatures of the enclosure. For measuring the actual temperature of a basking area, temp guns are the method of choice. Josh's Frogs creates two models of infrared temperature guns, the PE-1 and the PE-2. The PE-2 comes with laser sights to ensure the actual um, area you're measuring the surface temperature of, and it has a slightly higher accuracy. That being said, for the uses for, the uses for this hobby, either of these works equally well. To operate a temp gun, you simply depress, the, turn it on, depress the button, and aim it a few inches away at a sur at a surface. Um, a digital readout will pop up on the screen that tells you the surface temperature of the area you're aiming the device at. At Josh's Frogs, our goal is to provide all the equipment you need to keep your reptile and amphibian pets healthy and long lived. For question, comments, or to purchase any of the products you've seen today, please visit www.joshesfrogs.com.